Presented by GE and sponsored by Atari. Autodesk, BlackBerry, City, Data Pipe, Discovery Channel, GM, Intel, Pfizer, The Science Channel, and Official Hospital. All right, we get it. In Garden Inn. 92.3. With JV and Elvis. On Free FM. And uh, Jackie has joined us, but Jackie Clark. Just Hello. Wait a second, babe. Okay. Yeah. Um, O and A. All right, what's the problem? What's going on, and then I move forward. Hey, guys, what's up? What's the problem? What's the problem? You tell me what's the problem. <laughs> what's the problem? You have the problem. What's the problem? The problem is one at nine. We're, we yeah, we're scheduled to be on at nine o'clock. Well, yeah, and every day since we've been there, it, since April, you've gone on. One fucking day, we run over. You know, listen, you, you understand that we're live here and you can't say the F word on... All right, I'm in my car, I forget. One day, we decide to go over because we have something going on, not just an interview. We have something going on that we were talking about. One day... The personal and... stuff I can understand, but then the interview you can take to XM. It's not like it's this, you know, huge thing that has to be on. You're, you're not that stu- You're not that stupid, right? You're not that stupid. The guy was sitting there for an hour in the studio with a publicist. He couldn't just walk over to XM. It was a lot easier at that point to do the interview. Secondly, we did not know that Anthony's personal situation was going to end uh, perfectly at 5 to 9. We thought we were going to do more on it. When we went into commercials, Anthony got a phone call that said everything is going to be okay. So that ended that situation. We still had the guy that uh, wanted to do an interview with us. So we said, okay, we'll go late and we'll do an interview. And then we'll thank JV and Elvis, which we did. And we uh, left the show to you guys. We did thank you at the end of the day, too. We thank you. Oh, thank you. And then I thank you. You said that, what respect. One day we went over, and the first thing you did was get trash us. You weren't trashed. I, I made it very. I, get, I made it very clear that I have respect for you, but Dude, as far as we, management goes, I made that very clear. We heard the audio. Are we new radio? And, and we, did I say? Did I say that? Did you hear all of the audio where I say I, I do have respect for you and that I've, I've said nothing about you guys? No, you said you have respect for us, but uh, we should have respect for you. It was it was one of those things. If you don't get that, I don't know what to tell you. We left you guys with a massive audience today because of what was happening in Anthony's personal life. No one was touching their dials. So we gave you probably, I don't know, three or four times the audience you would normally have at 9 o'clock. Come on, that's ridiculous. Listen, we the show that we're scheduled to do starts at 9 o'clock. I don't give a crap about the schedule. If we want to go late, we're going to go late. That's what management wants from us. Oh, we didn't know that. We're supposed to leave the. We're supposed to leave. So, we're supposed so, to leave right, free FM so at eight forty-five every day. What I'm saying is that you know I'm looking for a situation where we're not secondary to anything, and well, because but, if you do it one time, then it's going yeah. another time, and another earn time, it. and another time. Earn it then. Earn the right for that. It doesn't just get given to you. And what do you think? We have earned the right to that. What are you talking about? Not according to the latest ratings. You haven't earned anything in New York yet. It's because it's a midday show. It's because of the audience. If we were in prime time slot, we'd have the same thing. I put us we proved ourselves in, in a major market and dominated the entire time. All right, then go back there. It's something we're considering. <laughs> then go back. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Go back. Bye bye. Management wants us to ten o'clock. Maybe they should. The way, maybe they should let you in on that. And they're negotiating that with markets. XM. Howard Stern earned the markets, not you. You just. Oh, all right. Place. You're gonna go after us with the uh, Howard thing. Bye. Oh wow, that that really, that really we hurts. We're gonna talk about earning it. Howard said Stern got all those markets, and they looked for the replacement. And they then why weren't you the replacement? Why weren't you the replacement? Why are you stuck in middays? Why weren't you the replacement? Why did they stick you in middays? Go ahead, keep swearing on the airways. I didn't curse once, you jackass. I said, why did they stick you in middays? You're dumping out because you know I'm right. Yeah. I didn't curse once. Yeah, see, this show's on XM, so for you to make believe we're cursing so you guys can dump out is pretty No one is cursing. The F word. No one is cursing. Go ahead, dump out whatever you don't want the audience here. We're not dumping anything. Well, then why are you saying we're, saying we're cursing? Now, record that, you'll be able to see that we didn't dump anything. Look, man, if you guys are miserable at Free FM, what could I tell you? But, you know, it was a special day today. We gave you a huge audience, and uh, and that's that. If you don't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. It, it's not like this is happening every day. So, obviously, you guys got uh, more more crap going on behind the scenes. We do, on a regular 
regular. So don't take it out. Don't take it out on us. Don't right? take it out on us. And that's why I still gave you guys respect. Like I said, you guys have a great show. I've said oh, several not, times. I'm I don't care if you think we have a great show. You, you guys had to bring up the cheap shot with Howard. All right, you got your cheap no, shot. It's 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 cute. We we earned syndication a long time ago. We were on 19 stations on our own. We did that, well, not Howard or no know, one else, okay? Is, let's call it what it is. Not, we, All right, what is it? What is it? What is it? Howard Stern had that morning drive slot in several markets, and that was because of what he built. And why and they put you guys on it? Uh, excuse me. We had afternoon drive in most of those markets as well, and we earned that. That's so it was a fine. lot. It was an obvious move to move us into that slot when well, we became well, available well, and well, figured well, it out with the company. I agree okay. With that. Then why I agree another with stupid that. show that's gonna like kiss up to Howard and think Howard's gonna take care of that? Why? Why then, when David Lee Roth failed, did they have to come to this show? on XM instead of just pulling you guys in if you earned it. I didn't say that we earned it. That, that was the smartest move to put you guys there. I, I've, I've said that time and time again. Dude, you guys have some kind of problem going on with manager. Whatever. That's I understand what I mean. that. I've had many years of that crap going on in my career. But to take it out on us because we went at, uh, a half hour because Ant had one of the most amazing stories to tell on the radio just tells me you don't. You guys just don't get how to do a radio show. I do have a problem with management, and that's what I was expressing. Not when you start talking about how it was a riveting interview. We heard the audio. We heard the way you started, we're and then you backpedaled. We're not new to radio, guys. We know what a, fu a friggin' jab is. We know what a jab is. What do you think, we're dopes? Listen. We heard the audio. I, right. You were but jabbing, that, that, and then you backpedaled. That interview, I mean, we should be on at 9 o'clock. That interview should go to your show. We shouldn't be waiting for some... I, I can understand if it was God on the phone. It wasn't some huge star. Well, I understand. It's got to suck that you got to wait for us to be done every day. I don't know what to tell you. It'll happen more in the future, so you either deal with it or you, or you get another gig. Right. Okay. I mean, the fact is the company wants us till 10 o'clock, okay? They're negotiating with XM. They can't figure out how to make it work for both sides, or it would have been done already. All right, well, by the way... All right, we were supposed to get off the air at 8.45 every morning. They already told us we could stretch as far as we can. We're up to, what, 8.56 at this point. We're pushing closer to 9 every day. And today we decided to go late because it was an, an unbelievable uh, uh, thing going on in Anthony's personal life. And like, I said, and most radio shows don't have the balls to bring that on their show, but Ant did today. And you talked about why don't we show you respect? Oh, thank you, and I thank you at, at right when we left. I didn't hear that. I was arguing with the program. Well, maybe you should have heard it before you started smashing the interview. Not, there's no way for me to hear it because I'm on the air with the program. Well, then don't you feel like a silly goose? Scheduled at nine, not on right now. We understand that. We understand that. But it happened. My issue wasn't with you. What? My issue wasn't with you. Then you shouldn't have mentioned the interview quality or any of that stuff. That part was a joke. I it wasn't was a joke. Around. We do this for a living. We know when something is said in jest and when something real is said and then backpedaled on. We're not, not dummies. That's why, that's why I wanted to make it clear that I have respect for you guys. But if, I mean, I'm going to come on and joke about it and handle it the best way that I can because... <laughs> I, I, I'll be completely honest with you. I did not. That hang was up. nobody in this studio. I didn't, everyone's seeing my hands. I did Hope not. Hope is hang holding up blueberries. Them. I'm across the room with a phone, and Ant's on his car phone. I bet you they hung oh, up. Oh, really? That just got hung up on which side? We didn't hang it up. We didn't hang up. All right. We did not hang up. Wait, uh, here's some more audio from that first break. Right. And, but I, and I wanted this to be my home, but right. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Mm. I just don't want to work for. Some any place where we're secondary. I, I know. I, I know. Just, we're all a team. We should. Be I mean, same. the place we came yeah. from. It was we had already done that, and we had done it for a long time. So it was time to move on to something bigger and better. Right. But I would much rather not sit in the office waiting like that. I know. I understand. Let's go to Anthony in Connecticut. Hello, Anthony. Yeah, guys, I drive to work every day. I turned it on. I couldn't find you. I was thinking to myself, wow, they, they blew him off again. They screwed him over again. And sure enough, your intro music comes on and they screwed you over. You guys are not secondary. You're third because the show in the afternoon is the show that you should be. You guys should be three to seven and drive. And it's a joke that you're not. And I would leave if I were you. Okay. I'm my close. Un my unemployment <laughs> ran out. I'm close. <laughs> I mean, I hate to do it for the fans that we have built up here in New York, but I, I'm going to ask for it today. I, I am. I'm going to say as long as, you know, everything is cool and no one's going to be mad, we're going to be without a job, period. Kindly, will you let us just 
another CBS station back where we came from yeah. that where we can get the respect. Right. That's what I'm asking for this afternoon. We'll see. Mike in Queens. Hello, Mike. Yeah, what's going on, man? Buddy. Yeah, man, I'm a I'm an a fan. You know, I listen a long time. But, dude, at least when you guys interview somebody who's a stiff, you call them a stiff and you treat them like a moron when the person's a moron. Right. Yeah. You can you pause this for a minute? Moron. You, what the fuck are you talking about? They interviewed that fat chick, and they didn't have the balls to say, yeah, we said you suck. They blamed it on us, which was actually very funny. But don't say that they called oh, people out. Rod, Rod, Rod the they fucking backed down. There was a 300-pound silverback in the room, and they couldn't tell her they didn't think she was fucking funny. You and your fucking callers, shut up. And actually, the interview wasn't that bad. It wasn't. I don't understand. Was it great? No. Did it suck? Uh, no. It was a, a regular celebrity interview. That's all. Nothing special, really. What? They said we hung up on them. We didn't uh, hang up on them, and, and they, they know break. we didn't. No, they had to go. They, to, the guy hung up in the middle of when he was. They had to go to break because management, you know, tells them what to do, and and they didn't know how to end the thing. So all of a sudden they hung up the phone. All right, hung up. They on. couldn't handle what we were saying. What, Which, what? You know, I'm I'm so sick of these radio guys that just lie and and and, and they're not accountable for their lies. For now on, I want a video uh, a, a a video camera on me 24 hours a day. You don't need if one. There was a video in here. I could have proven that I did not hang if up on. If we them. hung up, we would say it. We've never hung up and not said it. Opie's hang up hands cam. The the guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy or whatever. I'll allow him to do that. I know. Listen, you guys are the best show in. As far as I'm concerned, the world. I, I've Even been with China? Wow. I, I Hello. Oh, Hello. Did you say China? Hello. <laughs> Hello. In, you are the uh, best even in Hello. China. The door to your soul. <laughs> Hello. Now I want to explain something while these guys rip on our ratings. I've already explained that, and, and they know that as well. We don't know the first company, thing about you. And I'm telling you, listeners, because we're an honest show, yeah. if you put us in a drive time <laughs> An honest show? We don't know the first thing about you, J.B. Elvis. Are we on you with you, or we just have to listen to your show? In the shower. All right, we'll just comment about work, what you're saying. Right? Going to school, getting up, listening to morning radio, or yeah, in the afternoon right. when they're driving home, then that's where the huge audiences are. Exactly. Yeah, don't, and don't they put the best shows. Crap about they put the best shows in those slots. In no, no We're doing pretty well in middays in D.C. when we got to be on delay. Like right. Your show exceeds no, ours. Like it's so. You guys have a great show. We have a great show. Exactly. But don't act like it, it, it's so effing amazing. Right. That exactly. That's why your numbers are there and ours are here. We're in midday. Thank you. What the hell can we do? Nothing. Uh, what you could do is find someone that wants you morning drive or afternoon drive. I wouldn't accept a, a midday oh, show no, personally. Jackie, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I am, I am. Oh, hello. Those guys piss me off. I want to come down and kick their ass. Ha, come on. Hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, I can't stand them. Yeah. Hello. And you guys, you guys are ruining the airways. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Don't listen to anything that happens. Hello. You guys are going to take over something one day. Why, uh, why are we listening to their show? Like are they coming back on with us? They've yeah. moved to take them over. No, absolutely not. Uh, you know something? Here, I, I'll tell you this much. That dude that was saying, you jackass and, and calling me stupid, all because they got, you know, 14 guys around them in security at all times. I'll tell you this much. You won't tomorrow come say that to my face. Oh, shut the, the fuck up. I'll be in Pittsburgh, stupid. Say it to my face, bro. Say it right to my face. <laughs> Which one is even asking that? I mean, the fat one or the bald one? Yeah, that's why I know pussies like you hide behind that mic. Oh, fuck you and fuck your mother, you hack. Fuck you. A few of them look a bit intimidating. I'm not going to lie. And, yeah, and he's got huge security. I would want no this piece of that. Clark, she did not say that. <laughs> Don't crush hurt you. me. <laughs> but the clown that's calling me all those. I'm calling you those names because you accuse me of cursing, you scumbag. I'll wait tomorrow, and and we'll see if you say it to me then. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come out. Wow. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm tired of them. You got to. Somebody's got to do something about all of that. Like what? Let's like, suck our dicks. Let's That's what they got to do. All right, let's go to Pothead Ed, our buddy. What's going on, bud? Yo, yo, how you guys doing? What's uh, up, dog? Hey, what? Pothead. Yo, but. I was to say, man, it sounded like an adult arguing with a couple of kids when you were talking to them, Jay. Yeah, did it really? Completely. Their whole audience is based off of Howard's remnants, and yet their whole show oh. is ripping on Howard. It's you know, ridiculous. Get, oh. You know something? And? Uh, 
Did you get them on the phone? I, I, I will tell them that I said that. To Howard. And I, I think the listeners can back us up on we've given our respect huh? to O and A. We've got a lot, a whole lot of things to deal with. I'm going to tell you right now, like that comedy show. Yeah, right. We did that. We started. That. I, I started that that, that that big comedy. Now they're saying we stole the comedy that. show idea. I built that from nothing. There were no radio stations doing any comedy shows. I built that off yeah. of just showing up to a comedy show one day. Seeing Carlos Mencia and a couple of other guys, you, and I go. You know, I want to. I want to. We were going to do the together. traveling virus shows in 2002 before we were thrown people. off the air. It was like twenty five thousand every year. Uh -huh. I know. And they would try it in other markets, and it wouldn't really it work. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't it draw that much. It. So when we came to the station, we told the company we would really like to, you know, do that yeah, here, we came to here the, in New York. It's going to it's gonna take some time to build an audience. Right. People aren't going to like us right away, no. but we would like to do We're this We're going to be going uh, to 10 show. in the very near future. Let's do it. <laughs> some promoter very obvious. came along who put it together, not, not O&A, a promoter right. came along. Right. And no, it, it was O&A, &A, you said, hey, fucking guys, you do dummy! Act like you put it all together and See, then... This is, this is a problem with radio. You can just lie through your teeth and, you know, the listeners will buy into it. It's an idea I had years and years and years ago, a way of giving you guys a really good payday. That was one of our main gigs. I thought it was J.B. Nelvis' idea. We always respect them. We said it's not you that we're upset with. I'm going to shut up. And it's, it's usually something once a week, yeah. heavy, that we're it dealing is. with. Hitting us on the head. So, and if they don't, now, I was talking to them like an adult. I was saying, look, <sighs> we're going to come on and be a little sarcastic about it. That's, sure. you know, the best thing to do. It's not like I said, I, oh, I hate those mother effers and blah, blah, blah. Period. I'm just saying I want to be tr treated as equal here. They're not be. equal. They're not you know, equal. Yeah, with, you, with you gotta earn, great you got to earn equality and, and in this so business. you got to earn equal? respect in this business. I, I, I don't even know what they do on their show. No one knows. I just nod to the guy in the hall when we're leaving to do the XM portion of the show. And the guys have been jealous of us since the, the first day we were over there. You can tell just how they look at us. Like, oh, they get all frustrated. Why won't like, they take the call? I don't know. Yeah, they right you guys. I don't know. Yeah, you were dealing with your own stuff. You, you want to hear an impression of their show? Call, can you call the hotline number and tell them that? What? Tell them if they got... Thank God. Is it? I tried to take the gloves off with these guys. Yeah? This show is brutal. It's oh. brutal. It's a brutal show. Well, according to them, when they stay on over, now we finally get some listeners. Yeah, mm -hmm. they gave us a big uh, audience of 15 minutes of commercials. I wouldn't mind out the like I said. I'm sure they have a massive, huge, huge, huge following. Sure. I mean, to me, it would, it would be better if we just, you know, got along and, and kept everything cool. But That's either fine. way, I don't care. But I mean, yeah, if we, New York if, likes the radio. <laughs> if we went, really but if we went to an individual a, a, a market where we're both starting off. Yeah, where we start uh, at one station and they start, and because yeah, they got a, a major lead ahead of us. I mean to. I'm sure they got a die-hard fo following that, that right now just oh, yeah. hates us. We were off the air for 26 months, and then on satellite radio we're while you were here in terrestrial radio. radio. Right, right. We're going to win. We're yeah. going to kill it. Right. That's guaranteed. And if we're allowed to say what we really want to say while they're attacking me, mm. it would be a whole different story. Then why can't you? Why can't you? Wow. Let's take a break. Break time? That's, that's some brave radio right why there. Why can't you? Yo, 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 yo. yo. Nope and Anthony, they just, they're great. They're awesome. The type of people we're talking about now... Is when you see a woman and she's so fat, you want to go right past ridicule and just assault her. Yeah, like physically. Just you want to just grab her and go, stop eating. Yeah, you what are you grab, eating? Not even by the shirt collars, by the fat around the collarbone. And they go, I don't eat a lot. It's a thyroid. All I have is <laughs> celery. <laughs> Weekday mornings at 6 on Free FM. This Saturday and Sunday. There you go. Good boys. Make sure you get our promo in. <laughs> There is nothing I hate more. What a bunch of dopes! They I, they trash us and then they play our promo. And the guy who and was they don't saying have the balls to like maybe stop the promo, play something over the promo, uh, blow off the promo. No, they just played it because that's what management tells them a, to do. And the guy who was calling me a jackass, you, he was saying stop cursing and no one was cursing. He's a uh, phony. Hey, yeah. they ugh after it, something with with some balls. What? what yeah, I missed. Uh, the last like bit of that because I was uh, going from my uh, lovely car into my palatial mansion. Yeah, but uh, what, what, what everyone is that? laughing because they all uh, picked up on the fact after they tried to trash us, which was uh, a lame attempt. Yeah. They played an O and A commercial. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Boy, if that doesn't speak volumes.
Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking idiots. <laughs> Everyone is picking up on it. How great is it that after they get done trashing you, they have to play your promo? <laughs> play our promo, boy. That's why you're not doing morning radio, by the way. You can't think um, outside the box. Why are we doing... Uh, oh, shut right. up. Shut right. up. Go, go back to your one market. <laughs> Have fun. He wasn't even number one in San Francisco. He, he's he's I, acting I, like he was. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been in radio. I have no idea since what I was they 18 did. years old, and I never even heard of him. Well, we in, the, the girl there, the lady That's there. That's the God's honest truth. Darren O'Toole? And no, it's she didn't, do, she didn't do that well. Oh, Al. No. Oh, at, uh, yeah, she's pretty cool, yeah. actually. I forgot she's her name. She's cool. And then I know a lot of radio old. guys. I never heard of these guys. If yeah. they were successful, all yeah, right, geez. great. I'm not going to sit here and make believe they weren't. I have no idea, though. They, they were never on my radar screen. Call. Their listeners have to call. Like yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they load up the calls, like for with people. Hey, they suck. Yeah. You know. Oh, shut up. Were their ratings yeah. bad? Yeah. Yeah. Really bad. And they're like, it would be different if we were an afternoon drive or morning drive. Then find an afternoon drive or morning drive. Then why show. aren't That's you? How it works in radio. Then why aren't you? Your excuse is you're not getting ratings because you're a midday show. Well then, then okay. if no you're that great, show that pulls up better than a one. If you're that great, then go find a morning uh, drive show or, or an afternoon drive show. We're we're sucking up all those shows because they can't find talent. That's it's the reason why we're getting syndicated territory. all over the place. Every midday show has to go, well, we're at a one because, you know, we're in middays. There's no midday show that's doing well. And aren't we doing well in D.C.? We're on delay there. We're doing okay. Yeah. Made on the internet. Jesus. Oh. Enough. First of all, we have a name for the show, The Dog House. All right, first of all, you're, you're The Dog it... House. Uh, they invented comics. They're, yeah, they're the ones. It's, just, it's, it's laughable that in 2002 we were going to do the traveling virus tour, and they're trying to take credit for it. What no. comedians were you going to get, and how many people? What are you going to go two markets, do one show in New York, and get fucking 50 people there, and then go to San Francisco and do a show? I hate to Where tell you. were you going to go with it? I hate to tell you, the comedy tour is not a uh, a new concept. Yeah. Right. We did take it and and make it our own and make it bigger than uh, pretty much most of the comedy tours that that came before it, Listen. but the, this thing has been going on for years with radio stations, with our radio station. Sam Kinison says, hey, yeah. I got a, this uh, troop of comedians I'm going to take on the road with me. Dice does it. It's not a new concept, you we, guys but we did take it and, and make it into something pretty damn big. They're going to claim they were the ones that started the comedy tour with radio stations. And then, they, then he took it and said the promoter did it, not you guys. Well, they had it in their minds. 2002, you know why? You're right, because I bought a car over it. I know, and all I heard for 26 months was, oh, things were just about to happen for me on the comedy tour. We, I know, we were going to do a tour, we got thrown off the air. Well, I want to know if they got... 10, over 10,000, 11,000. Uh, are those the crowds that uh, they were pulling on their little comedy shows that they were doing? I want numbers. I want to know what their comedy shows were doing. Hey. Scary. Uh, talk for a second, Anthony. What's that? Talk for a second. I can't talk. I'm ready to hop in the shower. I'll just hum or something. I'll be right. Anthony, I just got to tell Jimmy. What are you wearing? To you want to hear me shower? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a shower cam for pal talk? Hold on. Oh, it's bringing me out for something. Talk, no, no, oh, okay, here. This should be good. Oh, oh, my you know, uh, so, uh, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you excited that uh, everything's going to work out for you over in a... I shut up, don't jinx it, you stupid fucking Jew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Misplaced I, I anger. Wow. Nice people. <laughs> wow, I hear that Hitler's a good guy. <laughs> Jesus. Don't jinx it. Now I have to knock wood and, and find mahogany, mind you. I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> are you are you nude? No, I'm not nude. It's like I got a handheld phone, so I can't even take my shirt off. I wonder how they like getting there. Gilbert Godfrey oh, is here. Let's hear the Hold on. Uh, I guess Owen A. Talk to us again. Back on the line, guys. Hello. Uh, we did not hang up on you, okay. first of all. Okay. And I'm the one, this is Jim Norton, I'm the one who was calling you a jackass, and I was calling you that I'm because... Don't to my face, bitch. Wait, wait, hold on. I know you're doing a character because you're in the doghouse. I'm not oof, doing oof. a character. Come say it to my face, bitch. You, I'm right across the street. First of all, you're white. Don't say bitch. I'm, hey, I'm and right. second of all, you said we were cursing, and nobody was cursing. And no, I know yo dog, you in the dog house. Shut up. No one is listening to you. No one is listening to you. 
guys are so good, what do you need a comedian on your show for anyway? Uh, th that's the best you have? No, no, it's not that's the best. That's a great question. That's the best you have? Is it Opie and Anthony, or is it Opie and Anthony and 5,000 comedians? Maybe it's uh, it's the drug addict and the guy who can't control him. Oh, wait, that's not our show. His name is Anthony. Opie is a board op. <laughs> that's uh, the best you have? That's the best you have. Hey, hey, you two market nobodies, that's the best you have? Hey, can I ask you guys something? Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? something? Alright, I'll just shout it then. Who over there has the drinking problem, by the way? Who has the drinking problem? Who has the drinking problem? Who has the drinking problem? And who's the other guy that said, Man, I can't take this anymore. You gotta really clean up your act. You gotta clean up your act, because I can't take you and your drinking anymore. And they're not dominating. Who's got the drinking problem? Who's got the drinking problem? Who's got the drinking problem? Which one has the drinking problem? Who's got the drinking problem? And who was the guy that goes, man, you got to clean up your act. I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. You got to get rehab or something. I just can't take you and your drinking anymore. And went psycho. I thought it was your. Uh, I thought it was your girl. Yeah, which one <laughs> got fired and had to see a psychiatrist? Like, <laughs> it was the board up. I think it's your girlfriend that was drunk, right? And then she's in a psych ward. That's what the case was. That is so compelling. Uh, more lies by by the way. I never went to a shrink. Uh, That's really hilarious. But we do have audio of one of you guys going, "Man, you gotta you gotta stop drinking. You're ruining the show. I can't take it anymore. You need to go into rehab." <laughs> You need to go into rehab. Hey, uh, we got audio. You, you're a married couple. I mean, Opie, I, since I've been here, you have not said one funny thing. I thought you just said you liked the show. You don't do honest radio. The doghouse doesn't do honest radio. See more di more dishonesty from these uh, these these guys. I I I said not one funny thing. I right? thought I thought you liked God. the show. Why are you lying? God, how bitter are you guys that we're sitting in the morning show slide and you're stuck in middays, middays, and not even getting ratings, and don't even have the balls to go out there and get a better job. So you use excuses like, well, we don't have ratings because we're a midday show. Midday. If we were in mornings or afternoons, we would get the ratings. We're doing midday. Don't get a morning or afternoon drive. I show you pussies. Yes. Stop with your radio shtick. A bunch of pussies. That, and you know this business is starving to find to find real talent. So go out there and get a morning show or an, or an afternoon drive show. Get get one. Get one. Go ahead. Get one. Instead of yeah, instead of hiding behind poor midday ratings, go out there and get a real radio show. You said you guys are great. I would love yeah. to see it. You're doing fairly well since your return to New York. Why wasn't it you? Why wasn't it you? When Howard had them. Are you guys, are you guys just bitter that they gave us the morning show? Are you? I'm sorry about that. I don't know what to tell you. You were in that seat. Without you, they would not have all those markets. You were in that seat. And you weren't good enough to get the gig. The gig was already taken. You were oh, in that do your seat. Do research, moron. You were do in that research, seat. Dark. You're not Go back to the good enough. Wear the band-aid on your nose, you little punk. You're not good enough <laughs> to get the, the seat. Who's cracking them in the nose He's every day to wear the band-aid? So you're not from all the coke you good enough. Oh, okay. Need you and coke. You're the one crying like some codependent wife <laughs> to go to <laughs> rehab. <laughs> you little woman. Slow down. You let her do You little bitch. You need to go to rehab, honey. You need to go to rehab. Stop your drinking. You gotta go to rehab. Who does? You do. Stop your drinking. Well, you guys aren't gonna be honest. Hold on, hold on. Anthony was really honest today about what was going on in his personal life. Why don't you guys discuss who has the drinking problem on the show and how you were trying to talk to him about it? I can't take this anymore. You really gotta stop drinking. Why don't you guys do a real honest radio show? Talk about in New York, the real problem yeah, between yeah, you two, and that one is drinking his face off, first. and that the other one is, the is begging him to stop. That monitors Let's get other shows. Let's get real. Why I mean, talk about that thing on your show? Then maybe you we would get doing the drum in sticks in the you know, Who's right, begging? So. Who is begging? I mean, half that stuff. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, you did that before. after we did it. So now we stole from these guys. That's a good way to. Put hey, your stuff together. You know, don't hey, even attack you. That, don't that even try to be stolen. You guys, crap! I didn't even know buttons. who the fuck you guys were. Oh, so 
Oh, nice dump there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Keeps so running. anyway, uh, yeah, who yeah, came yeah, up with yeah, that yeah. comedy show? We 2002, dude. Who we came up? Who came we up with did. 2002. I'm talking about 1994. We, 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 where were you? No one knew who you were in 1994. Wait, you've been doing radio that long, Let's get and you're still not in the morning drive show? You, 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 you guys are going out. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. so going out for that, that long, together. and you're still in freaking Who put days? that together? <laughs> you're still in hey, middays? Boy, answer the question. <laughs> All these years, and you're still in middays. <laughs> you're the one that's not funny. <laughs> oh, I don't give a crap if I'm not funny, but I'm being heard in 25 cities, and we're the number one show on XM. Now, why don't you tell us your resume? Oh, my God, I'm a board op. I couldn't even handle a middays. You're Show it light FM because all I can do is turn on the mic and let Anthony be funny. You're in middays, dude. And that's I'll give all you Anthony are. that that's much. Jamie, Anthony, like I've always Jamie, said, you are so funny, but the other board op is a joke. Thing. People know what I do on the show, so, you know, that'll never change. You're in joke. middays. Joke. 12 joke. years and you're in middays, dude. Yeah, why? Right. Why? I mean, why are you in middays? Because we got fired from the station. Because we got fired from the Why are you in middays if you think you're so great? Why are you in middays if you think you're so great? Why are you in middays because you think you're so great? Great. Why? Because Why? everything was Why? already said here. Why? We were told by Why? management we would have been in another spot yeah, if we would have come in. They didn't know about it. See, these, these, guys these guys don't, these guys don't know the truth. We had a terrible yeah. agent named Bob Eatman. The terrible agent. He's a joke. The dude, well, maybe if you were good enough, you'd have a morning drive hey, show. You're acting like you got this some like some amazing show. Your show's all right. Then why did you say it was good before? Why don't you do honest radio? Good means all right. You're not. It's not amazing. I mean, it ain't like you're Howard. Stern. You just no, said no. you didn't like Opie, you don't like the show, so why don't you be honest? No, you don't even honest about your own funny. You're not even honest about your own And when they have the conflict. comedian on that, that, that doesn't even fit into the title, I mean, why, why shouldn't they respect you? Dude, Do you get paid you're, as much as them? Oh, you're no not even good enough Are for you morning? getting paid as much of the, as them? Because I, Opie is nothing more than a board op. The bottom, yeah, but Opie is on a 25 cities, so Jen, you're not good enough for mornings or afternoons. Really? You're we a midday show, decade, and, and you're, you're not, not yeah. good yeah. enough. Listen, Listen we, we were, have to do we a were number one than, solid and, and for 10 years. Then where are you? So we got to restart somewhere. Then where are you guys? You restarted on satellite where you had, despite your Right, we did have no choice. Why would they come to you? Why, why aren't you in, in San Chicago? Francisco right now? You have a zero point zero. Why you are you only are you in these there, markets? Well, let's why talk about are you some only in these markets? markets? You guys have. By the way, we have a zero point zero you because we just started on. Uh, they know that. They know, they know that. They know that. And you're on in morning you, drive. You, you know why? What are you saying, What's the board up saying? Doghouse. What? Thank you. Is that actually something you guys say? First of all, the board op's got a big thing on Madison Square Garden. He's on every bus in this city. The board op is on every bus in this city. That's really got to hurt that a board op is doing much better in, their, in, in his career than you guys. Dude, you have to try a lot harder than call me a board op. You don't think I've dealt with that my, my whole career, but I know what I do for a fucking radio show. Hey, what do? Which one of you guys has to go to rehab? Honestly. I went to rehab when I was 17. Which one of you guys has the problem? He's the only one with talent. Which one of you guys has the problem? Yeah, who's got the drinking problem? I'm honest about my old problems, man. Who's got, who's no, got dude, the honestly, problem? Honestly. Who's got the drinking problem? Dude, stop trying to be funny. And Who? honestly, answer. Anthony, you used to have a drinking problem. Who's got the drinking problem? Fired. We've already heard the story. Anthony doesn't have a drinking problem, never had a drinking yeah. problem. But but one of you guys has a drinking problem, and the other guy begged, begged like a little girl, man, I can't take you and your drinking. You're going to have to do something about it. We got audio, buddy. Who is that? Is that the we got on. I, think so. yeah, I, think I told you, you're going to have to try a little harder than that. I'm up for a challenge. Try to get to me. We got try to get to me, but call me a board op is not going to get the job done. I'm a board op that's on the side of buses. I'm a board op that yeah. that is a star of a TV commercial. I'm a board op that sat on David Letterman's couch. I'm a board op. Wow. I'm a board op that's a multimillionaire. How does that make you feel? You're in middays with no ratings. That's got to bother you. That's got to bother you that the board op is doing much better than JV and Elvis. Oh, JV and Elvis. Oh, my God. I'm scared of Jamie and Elvis. Who is God? They're setting the radio world on fire. Wait. One market at a time in middays. Well, sometimes they bring Jackie in for the extra boost. Who was uh, hammered at the radio chick party and had CBS gave him a lot of crap? Which, who was the drunk at the party? Well, one of them has a big drinking problem, but they're not willing to 
to talk about on the show. We've talked about we've talked about uh, the problems we've had with each other and the stuff that uh, goes on behind the scenes on this show. Mark, what's up? All right, we're off. Hey, buddy. They won't talk about that drinking problem. Finally, needed to freaking do. Kick those guys' asses. I say something. The watered down hat. And by the way, is it wrong that I touch myself whenever I hear uh, Jackie talk? That's okay. You can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. Jay, what's up, Jay? Hey, what? what? Hey, I just want to tell you, I used to listen to O and A and you guys religiously, and after today, O and A, I want to tell you on the air, you suck, you shut down. I'm not listening to you anymore. And Jackie, I love you, girl. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Are O and A are you still there? <laughs> What a day. Are they still there? You know we're still here. Uh, yeah. What, that was supposed to bother us, no, I guess? Let you, uh, you got to I guess that was supposed to here. bother us that you, that you planted a call uh, from a guy that says he hates we're, the we're Opie and Anthony show? Any calls. We're going to check them all live. Just go. Just right. one after another. I don't, yeah. Dude, I could do the same thing. Blah, blah, You're not blah. honest on your show, man. What's up, Brian? Dude, you're not honest on your show. You're not honest on your show. Please. You're not honest. You had a promoter put together my comedy show and you're, like, dude, <laughs> you're, insane. you're insane. You're yeah. insane. This is how things work. This is how it works. If, if someone wanted to promote the JV and Elvis comedy show, they would have done it. No one knows you, bro. Done it. No one knows no you, bro. One knows you. That's why you didn't do your comedy show. There wasn't an interest in it. Try to get an edge word or a word in edgewise. I mean that that. No one knows you, bro. I mean you're an embarrassment to yourselves. You're an embarrassment to yourselves. If you wanted to do a comedy show. You should have done a comedy show. But the fact is, you didn't have enough juice. You didn't have a promoter that was willing to promote it. And you guys are talking about in San Francisco, you're so big. Sarah is the big one in San Francisco. Why, do, why didn't you just do it then? Then why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you just do it? Why didn't you just do it? We're working on it. We're working on it. You're working on it, huh? Get you out. You're working on it. We know that you. Who do you got for your comedy show? Carrot Top, Gallagher. Who do you got? And uh, I would say Yakov Smirnoff should be available. <laughs> Yakov Smirnoff should be available for the JV and Elvis comedy show. Yakov Smirnoff. Hey man, if you guys are good so good, Yakov Smirnoff. Management's mistreating you. You probably could get Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta for the JV and Elvis comedy show. <laughs> Judy Tanuda. Maybe you could get Louis Anderson out of rehab and he could join the uh, the comedy show as well. And funny. Dopey and fun. Wow. That's all you got, bro. Dude. That's all you got. Why do why is everybody mistreating you guys if you're a talented radio show? I mean, why won't a promoter give you a show? Or why was mad why is it everybody is picking on you guys? Well, I don't need a promoter to give me a show. I put that together. Oh, then where is it, bro? Where is it? Off the back of that where, like where, what? where was it? What? Where is it? Where, <laughs> where is it? Where's your comedy show yeah. then? Uh, no one's telling us not to do a comedy show, so who told you not to do a comedy show that you didn't do a comedy show? Where is it? Where where's your comedy show? Where's your comedy show? Guys, hey, listen, I'll be down in uh, Chavez Center tomorrow, and from now on, it's Imus until 9 in the morning, JV and Elvis, the rest of the day. That's oh. Thanks, bro. Imus is doing a comedy uh, tour, too. Where's your comedy show? Let's go to uh, Jersey. What's up, Anthony? Why don't you just do the comedy show? Hey. Mr. Buggy! Oh, my God, he's in the What? Are you guys this insecure that you got to take phone calls praising you right now? Are you that insecure that you're going to line up a bunch of people that love JV and Elvis? That is the hackiest radio bit ever. I mean, uh, we just had a huge fight with Opie and Anthony, so let's make ourselves feel good and have a bunch of guys kissing our butt. Wow. And remember when you go to... That's like radio hack crap. That's why you're not in morning drive. That's why you're not in afternoon drive. That's why no one wants to promote your comedy show. You're hacks. And don't forget when you go to... After you had a huge fight with us, you did what management told you, didn't you? Yeah. And you played the O&A commercial. You're a bunch of hacks. But we're going for a Bra unhooking. With the help of a load okay. of hotties from headquarters, gentlemen's club, we will attempt to un. Unbelievable! Oh my God! What a couple <sighs> of douchebags! What a couple of douchebags! 
But why would you allow yourself to be so mistreated? Like, if you're this fucking maverick, cool radio show, 12 years, then why are you in middays, man? Yeah, why, why are, are you? in middays? They're so scary talented. How come they're still in fucking middays and no one knows who they are? Do you think CBS wanted to go to the Opie and Anthony show to bail them out? That's the last thing they wanted to do. Do you know how much trouble it was to get us? Back to their company between XM and them, they could have easily, if there was one iota of fucking talent out there, especially already working for CBS, they'd be doing the morning shows, not us. And JV and Elvis, without that scary fucking talent, forget about it. Hey, why don't you, why don't you, uh, you remind them uh, about the uh, Pal Talk camera being left on? Well, we we how about that little bit of fucking audio? <laughs> we, we kept, we we kept asking them who's got the drinking problem, yeah, who's we going to rehab, to that. and they wouldn't admit it. Well, I know. I was in the shower. I heard the whole thing on speakerphone. <laughs> how great was I, Aunt? Dude, it was <laughs> fucking idiot. These hacks. See, they don't know what the fuck to do with themselves. And then, uh, Look, I, I got to be honest. I love a good challenge, okay? But oh, yeah. if all you got is to call me a board op, our own listeners, uh, when they want to beat me up, say that crap. I know what I do oh, for this please, radio oh, show. Oh, the problem is that. I the, know what I do for this radio show, so you're going to have to come up with something a little better than that. Here's and, the problem. I mean, if I was just a board op, I wish I could tell them this. If I was just a board op, the company could save a lot of money by just firing me and hiring a real board op for whatever it would be, $12 an hour. And you probably wouldn't get lined in a day today, if, right? I want to just... <laughs> yeah, you should. I just want to let I just want to let everybody know in on on what what happened there. Uh, we left the pal talk on completely accidentally one day, and I'm, I'm you could say you know uh, it was on purpose, but it was it was accidental. We were rushing out of the place, left it on, um, and they came in at the beginning of their show, and one of them was screaming at the other one about being on drugs. And look at your uh, eyes, they're all fucking dilated. You said you weren't going to do this. Go to rehab, you're drunk. And we have it all on tape. Now, obviously, we're not allowed to play it, uh, but that, that's what we heard. That's what we fucking heard. And honesty, they're going to be honest. Get the fuck out of here, lying sacks of shit. We didn't tape it, actually. Uh, it was taped by a listener. Yeah, listen to tape it. It was just that Pal Talk was still running when we left the studio. And these idiots, you know, didn't know. So they, they start talking, and that happens. And somebody, you know, the line was open. Oops. The phony but, hellos in the hallway. Hey, how are you? Hey, 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 uh, hi, well, hi, ho, ho. I guess those are over. <laughs> hey, hey, hi, hi, ho, ho. And I know it bugs them that I don't talk to them when I see them. I just nod like, hey. Because they, cause they, cause they brought that up. I'm like, because I have nothing to say to these guys. You're, you're, you're like nameless, faceless radio guys that follow new, us. We've new, had a million of you guys show, after us. New afternoon show coming to uh, Free FM New York, I think. New uh, midday show. <clears throat> new midday show. It really bothers them that I don't give them uh, some kind of respect. I don't know anything about them. I don't need any more friends in radio. Fuck them. My quota has been filled with Ron and Fez. That's it. And Brother Weeze, that's it. Why weren't they given the morning slot anywhere? Yeah. Why were Why? they totally Why? shut out? They didn't the, get the you afternoon know, you, slot. You, you know what the answer to that is. Of and course I do. why they're pissed. And they know the that's answer, why too. why they're so pissed off. All right, Ken, Kenny's calling me. I got to I gotta catch Let's go to plane. Troy and Philly. Troy. Hey what's up, man? Hey. Yo, yo guys, what's up, man? What's hey. up, Troy? Long time listener. Uh, listening to you back when you were 94 YSP back in Philly. Yeah. Back in originally. Um, I used to think the same thing, Hope. Uh, kind of thought you were a big board op. No, I uh, didn't really see the point of the show. But um, today, man, i got to say, one of the best parts of the show uh, with lines like, uh, i got to say, great line of the day. Uh, thank you, sir. I know what I do. So, uh, keep, keep I, I, I'm not work, stupid. Boys. I get paid very well because of what I bring to a radio show and a, and a, and a radio company. Of course. i got to explain <clears throat> that shit to fucking those assholes. Oh, what hacks and they're lining up people. Yeah, I'm, I'm never listening. I did listen to ONA. Oh, yeah. Uh, then, where, then where do you go when our show stops and their starts? Because obviously the audience fucking uh, disappears. That old gag. Uh, let's, uh, oh. let's get a bunch of calls saying how great we are. I, you know, I, I was God, in we, the shower, we, I had my phone on speakerphone, yeah. and I was nude and shampooing during that whole... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> but I had to listen to it. What did Opie keep repeating over and over again? It was so fucking annoying. 
I don't know. I, I, I saw know, it a few it times. Just, uh, I was cracking up because you wouldn't stop. Oh, Yakov Smirnoff. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yakov Smirnoff. Yakov. <laughs> <laughs> and Gallagher and Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, is that he funny, man? He's comedy towards this guy. He's just oh, a jerk dude. off. And he knows he's a fucking relegated to middays jerk off. And he knows it. That's what he yeah. is, and he knows it. That's and here, why he's angry. It. Here's the difference between the two shows. There's a every phone line is lit, and they all want to just praise us. Yeah, watch. And how fast? I'm not gonna the answer one phone. Shut their fucking phone lines down. By the way, how fast if we said, uh, you know, oh, they're taking calls from all their scary fans? Shut down their phone lines. They'd be down in a second. In a fucking second, they wouldn't be able to take one call. So just, just shut up. This is so scary. Go back by to the way, where the fuck you came from. By the way, Mike from uh, FMQB, big fan of the show, just did a great article on us in the latest issue of FMQB. Uh, did we yeah. throw that online? The latest uh, article from FMQB? We should have. Is that under the JV and Elvis one that's uh, in the same issue? Well, they really, really fucked up, and it's something that radio guys do all the time. When when you do go at it with another show and you don't like what you're hearing, you'll hit the dump and go, hey, hey, Man Cow used to do this all the time. Hey, yeah. hey, you're cursing. I had to dump out of that because right. they didn't want to hear what uh, you were saying. Well, yeah. Mike backs us up. Uh, subject, not one curse word from Jimmy. Are these guys serious? Way to be team players and respect when uh, respect when one show has something going and giving weight to them. They would have wanted to do the same exact thing you did if the situation was reversed. There is no JV yeah. in team. I dropped Ugh. the F-bomb within the first, you know, minute of the conversation, and then I realized I'm not just, you know, yelling at ethnics in my car driving home. So uh, I stopped cursing after that. But no one else was cursing after that, and Jimmy wasn't cursing. No, Jimmy I was, was yelling about something. And then, you were burying them, and they had no response, so they dump and say, oh, Jimmy cursed. And then come, say it, to, come you, say it to my face. That's what yes. you say? That, that's what your idea? Down, I'm going to beat you up. Oh, shut I'll up. Beat you up. Oh, go shit in your hat. Go and shit in your hat. <laughs> that's why you're not in fucking morning. Yeah, why don't you Tuesday. beat up all the other morning guys around the country, and then you can take their spots while they're in the <laughs> hospital healing. I went with the whole board up thing. I'm like, oh, all right, a board up that's on the side of all the city buses, a board up that is a star of a, a yeah. TV commercial, a board up that's sat, sat on Letterman's couch. <laughs> I have to go, boys. I'll see. I'm, I have a plane. Kenny's about outside. He's calling me because I have a flight. Oh, I'm what happened? Hold on, what, Sam? My vehicle now. What, Sam? Hold on, Sam. Hold on. This little girl has something to say. Yeah, what's up, Sam? They just said that the station manager has told them to stop talking about you guys. And that ah. that's, oh, I'll do what management told you. That's how, you know. And I um, made our names for ourselves by listening to management, you dopes. You don't even know yeah. what good radio is when it, it, it hits you in the face. And Watch I out. know how much trouble and I got in over the years when management said, don't do this, don't do that, and we just continued. They actually and, yanked us off the air a few times, and guess what? It created amazing talk for the radio show. And, but and you guys I, are going to be like good little boys because you know you have nowhere else to go, so you're going to have to listen to management. So they told the you way, to shut up, and guess what? You shut up. And, and this the way, is the boy. We're not talking. Let's, let's see them try to. Let's see management try to tell us not to mention them tomorrow. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> we'll talk about whatever the hell we want. Whatever. Always the have, always you will. Want. It's costed. It costed us. Costed us our jobs a couple times, but we'll continue. Bye, guys. Right. Anthony, good luck today, man. Uh, I'll Thank see. You. I'll see you Monday, man. I, I, I have to fly because Kenny is outside yeah, and I got a fucking flight. Have a good flight, yeah. And I'm, I'm taking off too. Uh, Who's left with that show? Jesus, what time is it? I don't oh, know. Hey, you did 10 minutes overtime. All right, 11 minutes of bonus time. That means next week we start coming off uh, XM at 840. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, sweetie, I'll uh, see you Monday. Great, great job, man. I'll see you guys, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, buddy. Hope everything works out, eh? All right, hope I'll see you uh, Monday, man. Right. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Jimmy. Later. Wait, Jimmy. I have to do that. I'm, but, I'm but, late. I was supposed to leave like 1030. But I'm scared. Don't be scared. I don't know. I'm scared. You have boss here. He'll come never. I never uh, got to do my own show. I, I just push the buttons usually. <laughs> Travis down. I'm scared. This kid's got magnetism. I'm oh, scared. Oh, I don't know. Hey. What do you think? Should I continue? You're sure. Yeah, why not? Just plug my gig. These two? I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jim Norton at the Improv in Pittsburgh all weekend long starting tonight. Tonight. Uh, we could do line of the day and get out of here. You guys want to go to the noon for us? Who, me and Bonnie? You got, any, uh, you got anything in you? 
I'll go out. I mean, if you want us to, I'll do it's it. It's kind of hard know. to follow. Yeah, I know. To <laughs> there was like some uh, amazing radio like, over at FM, well, and now it's Why don't you be like reporters and just do like the post-show wrap-up? All right. So then there's not much pressure. You take calls and what you're feeling. They'll say something, then you could comment. All stuff. right, cool. All right, we'll do some post-show. All right, Bonnie and uh, and Rich will be doing the post-show today. <laughs>